to change temperatures, you're going to push the little check mark. It'll bring you from medium to high, low. Now, those are the speeds and the temperatures, that's the default. Different filaments you have to calibrate in different ways, so sometimes, like um, especially like glow in the darks or metallic filaments, it needs to be a little hotter. And to do that, you can hold down the check mark and you will see that the 190 is blinking. And so that way you can adjust it by pushing the feed. So if I want to raise it about five degrees Celsius, I can. And you'll hit the check mark again and it will begin to rise to 195 and still be the speed that's medium. You're able to hold down the feed, which is the arrow keys that are pointing towards the extruder. If you do not want to hold it down, it does have the ability to have an automatic where you'll press it twice. And then it will just continue until you hit it again. Now PLA, you are able to have it on paper without peeling it up and the paper um, come and be stuck to the back of it. If you're using ABS, I'd recommend if you need like a stencil to put a piece of glass on top of it and use it like that because the ABS has to get really hot to be able to extrude smoothly. So I would recommend putting a piece of glass on it. If it's a large piece and you notice that it's kind of unsticking from the glass, take some hairspray, spray it on top of the glass and then, um, and then start drawing again. The retraction is pretty good. Um, I recommend as it's retracting just to hold it in that spot and then release because if you retract and you pull instantly, you will have little strings. If you go online, you can actually search for different 3D printing stencils and you can even find glasses. And it's a good way to start. Now drawing vertically is going to take a little bit more patience. I recommend raising the temperature of the filament maybe five degrees um, Celsius just so when you're pulling up it's not pulling against and away from your surface. It'll stick better with a higher temperature. Now being that it's a higher temperature it's going to take a little bit longer to cool. So when you pull And you hear the retraction, just wait a couple seconds before pulling away completely and that way it's actually hardened enough where it's standing. When you're finished with your color, you can just press the back feed and it will slowly feed out your filament. When your filament is completely out, you'll hear it run. It might run another 5 to 10 seconds and there's no way of turning it back off. So it'll automatically stop. Now they give you a little holder. Now it's way too lightweight to actually keep the pin up and down. So I would recommend using something else. The color filament that I received is this translucent green. It only comes with one filament. You'll insert into the filament hole and then you will hold the feed button or you can do the automatic feed, which is easier. When the filament begins to extrude from the nozzle, you'll see the past color first and then the new filament color. Now keep 
feeding it through until you get solely your color because you'll see that sometimes it gets a little mixed first and just make sure that you have that color. I hope this gives you a better idea of their product. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.